Have you ever been in this situation? You are in the middle of an edit. Your clips are organized, everything is perfectly timed. Your speed ramps look clean, your color grading is on point. And you are about to add some effects and transitions. You go into the effects library. Plenty of transitions to choose from. And you even got that transitions pack just recently. You grab one transition and drag it in between two clips, but you can't apply it. Oh no, I forgot. Your clips don't overlap. So to make them overlap, you somehow have to increase the length of your clips. So you select your clip, right click, open retime controls and make the clip longer by slowing it down. Now you need to expand the other clip back to its original length. So the transition is at its intended position. Now let's add a transition. But as you can see, you can only add it to the side of the clip you extended. That means the middle of the transition is not in the middle of the cut. Which is a problem, because you want your transition to land exactly on the beat hit. So let's do the same thing again and also extend the other clip. Select your clip, right click, open retime controls and make the clip longer by slowing it down. Now you have to expand the other clip again, but only to the position where your beat hit is. So you have to make sure to mark that before. And now you can add your transition. Finally. But now you've got even more problems. The speed issue. You want your clips to have a consistent speed to keep that smooth cinematic look. Slowing down a clip makes it choppy and unnatural. Now you have to mess around with the retime and scaling options. Or if you used my speed ramping plugin, you just have to choose one of the interpolation modes to fix it. But both ways eat up a lot of processing power and makes your playback lag. The speed ramp issue. Cutting your clip will cut out the speed adjustments. This means your speed adjustments get hidden inside the transition. Or you have to adjust the retime or spline curves again, which is a pain in the ass. The length limitation. Let's say you have one clip that overlaps by 3 seconds and another clip that overlaps by 2 seconds. Your transition has to be limited to 2 seconds on each side because that's all the overlap you have. If you want to make the transition longer, you have to extend the clips again. Now the biggest issue, the clip replacement issue. Let's say you just customized your transition to your liking, but you think maybe that other clip would fit better here. And you want to replace that clip. If you delete the clip, the transition disappears. If you swap the clip, the transition disappears. Even if you make too much timing adjustments, the transition disappears. It's frustrating, time consuming and just unnecessary. Because let's be honest, your clips don't need to overlap to add a fucking glow transition. It's just a fucking And don't get me wrong, transitions can be awesome. If you are flexible with your cuts and you don't need every second of your footage. But if you edit edits like I do, timing is everything. Your cuts need to match perfectly with the beats and regular transitions just make that hard. They force you to make your clips longer than they should be. You sometimes can't use the best footage because you have to make that time for overlapping transitions instead. If you've already added speed ramps to your clips, they get messed up. Your video's flow suffers because you have to slow down clips just to make transitions work. And the complex, finky nature of transitions, how they interact with the clips and just randomly disappear, is both frustrating and time consuming. This is especially bad for fast paced high energy edits, when you have to waste 2 to 5 seconds on the beginning and the end of every clip just to make transitions work, it can really hurt the flow of your edit. And that's why I've created the solution. I got sick of dealing with all these problems, so I built a plugin that fixes them all. It's way more fun and efficient. 
It's fast and easy. Drag the plugin as a generator from the effects library into your timeline or simply apply it as an effect onto every clip you want. It's flexible and gives you a lot of freedom. Simply apply the plugin as an effect to an adjustment layer and drag it over a cut so the adjustment clip's middle aligns with the cut point. This gives you the freedom to move it around how you want or simply copy and paste it to apply the same transition elsewhere. Many options. Choose out of 11 transitions that I created for you in the inspector. Many more options. For each transition, I've created custom transition presets to help you achieve your desired look even faster. With this, you can get access to not just 11 transitions, but 45 unique transition presets that you can apply in just two clicks. Full control. But you're not limited with these presets. You can even find you in every transition with simple sliders and controls. The overlap issue solved. With this plugin, you can make transitions as long as you want without the need to overlap clips. Smart length adaptation feature. All transition animations will automatically adjust to the clip's length. The swift swap feature. Instead of deleting a transition you don't like, searching for another one, applying it and having to adjust it again, with my transition plugin you're just one click away of trying out another transition. Persistent preset memory feature. Any adjustments you make to your transitions will stay intact, even if you switch between transitions. So let's say you customize the glow transition to your liking, but you still want to try out that other transition to see if it fits better. You can easily do that and when you come back to your glow transition, your customizations will remain exactly the same. Speed ramp compatibility. This plugin works perfectly with speed ramps, whether you use the traditional way of speed ramping or my speed ramping plugin. Clip independency. Unlike traditional transitions, these transitions won't randomly disappear because this plugin acts as an independent clip. You can change the clips below however you want without affecting the plugin. Using my transitions plugin instead of the traditional transitions gives you a greater customization, faster workflow and a major advantage over other transition packs. My goal with this plugin is to improve the workflow of editors like you. Making your editing experience more enjoyable while saving time that you could spend with other things like enjoying the sun or just work even more. That's why I decided to give you a few special bonuses and discounts. So if you buy this plugin, you will not only get this transitions plugin, but you will also get the next version and the next version and so on, completely for free. Because I decided to give you lifetime free updates, including new optimizations based on the community's feedback, performance improvements, and of course, new transitions, but more on that later. On top of that, if you buy before April 30th, you will also get high quality transition sound. This is a sound pack I created worth $50 and you will get this completely for free. This sound pack includes 20 cinematic transition sounds, which complement the transitions in the plugin. But that's still not all. If you buy before April 30th, you will also get 25% of all other paid plugins on my store. And that's still not all. Here's the best bonus. On top of all of that, you will get 50 fucking percent of the transitions plugin. But only for a short period of time. So make sure to be fast. If you use all of these bonuses, you will save almost 150 euros, which is more than the plugin even costs. So check out the first link in the description right now. And then come back to this video. B 
be part of building this plugin's future. I want this plugin to be the best it can be. So as part of my community, you will have the opportunity to shape this plugin's future. I'm happy to tell you that you can submit your own transitions or transitions you have seen elsewhere through my Discord server. And with a little luck, your transition will be featured in the next version of the transitions plugin. So check out the description, join my Discord and submit your favorite transition now. But I have to warn you, the price will increase as more transitions are added. So you're better off buying it early. Spend less time editing, more time creating. Traditional transitions are frustrating and slow you down if you edit like me. With this plugin, I try to eliminate those frustrations. Not only does it improve your workflow, but it also saves you significant time in the long run. I also want to include you as part of the community in the process of developing and improving this plugin through my transitions request form. I'm sure you have at least once seen a cool transition somewhere that you would love to use or you just want to share your own creative transitions or ideas. This way you can request these transitions and all approved submissions will be added directly to the plugin for everyone to use. So don't wait, hit that first link in the description and join us in creating something amazing. And as always, I will see you in the next one.